Kelly, did you shave? What's different? Legs. <laughs> not a legs person. That's, I mean, I got them, but I just don't, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> now's not a good time to go into the closet. <laughs> We're reading the news. Don't. The only news you need to know from me to you. Kelly, you've been reading the news? Silent treatment, I deserve that. Here's a good place to start, Kelly. World's heaviest potato turns out not to be a potato at all, so it's just the world's heaviest. How did you mistake, what is it? <laughs> March 15th. That's, that's gone. You took a DNA test of a potato. Turns out, it's not a potato. You named it Doug? <laughs> Why? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to guess what it is. Hurry. I'm assuming that's how long it'll take me to read what the answer is. A tuber of a type of gourd. Do you know what that means? I'm disappointed, but he's still Doug. It's been a roller coaster of potato rama. We're getting into the puns, okay. <laughs> that means they're running out of ideas. Craig says that Doug will also have a future as vodka. Well, that's, that's thinking like an alcoholic, I like it. A Michigan woman won 500,000 after liking the color of a scratch off ticket. Isn't that how you buy it? You say, that's the first one my eye saw. It must be worth something. A 34 year old woman won 500,000 from a scratch off ticket that she picked out due to its color. Uh, this just in, turns out, <laughs> no, we're not going there. I bet this is the first time you've ever profited from picking something out just because of its color. The woman has chosen to remain anonymous. Good, hence the subtle racism allegation here. The prize could not have come at a better time, the woman said anonymously. Yesterday's cool. The day before is awesome. I think it could have. I think $500,000 coming at any other time other than currently is better. World's longest car restored and measured over 100 feet long. There's a twist. It wasn't even a car. It was a potato. Shut up, Kelly. Oh, there's a large cat on the loose in South Carolina. How big we talking? Big enough to make the news, I guess. The large cat was spotted in the Sandy Run area of Swan City. <laughs> Is this real life? Oh, like tiger big. Got it. You don't have to say large cat. People identify with the word tiger. I think I know what that means. The identity of the feline has not been confirmed. All right, so there's an anonymous tiger out there. I don't think we care who it is. Catch it. Some callers identified the loose cat. You might want to call those callers back. <laughs> I have some questions about the callers. What's next? Florida swim, it never ends well when it starts with Florida. Swim team practice interrupt by alligator and pool. This is news? That's a baby. Oh, school. I, I must have not seen that, the, the sheriff said in a Facebook post. Hey, I don't think that's good. You're stupid and I hate you. Blocked. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard that or anything. This is a made up word. Recognizance. <laughs> okay. They didn't want to say we lost him. Okay. The gator was released on his own recognizance. We lost. <laughs> Y'all don't know where that gator went. He went back to the swimming pool. Indian boy solves Rubik's Cube in 14.32 seconds while riding a bike? Okay. <laughs> It's as easy as riding a bike. Young Indian boy solves Rubik's Cube while breathing. <laughs> Why do we have to say things like Indian boy? I don't think we should. I think you need to stop calling me the white man. That's not what you think it means. Okay, not even gonna try. 12 of, yep, he lives here, told Guinness World Records. He spent two years perfecting his speed cubing technique before attempting the world record. Two year? A year and, well, I almost said 15 months, but that's the past two years. Thank you for telling me that. A year, 11 months, and 28 days, depending on the month. <laughs> I'm assuming January. Was spent practicing the cube. And then you took a day to say, I wonder if I could do it on a bike. First try. Asia Book of Records. The whole article, that information blew my mind. Did you know people from India are Asian? I didn't, because I don't know geography. Like you said, I'm just a dumb, dumb white man. Maybe you should put Indian boy, otherwise I'm just gonna call him the wrong thing and you can't. World's oldest blue-eyed black lemur celebrates birthday. Hey, just wishing a very happy birthday to the world's oldest blue-eyed black-eyed lemur. Black, bean, black eyed bean peas concert. Turn 30, you're older than me? Whoa, I like a lemur my age. Blue-eyed black lemurs are sexually di dim dimorphic. Let me break that down what that means, Kelly. 
Why are y'all looking at their sexuality? The species is critically endangered. Maybe because they're sexually dimorphic. What the heck does dimorphic mean? What do the dimorphic mean? The condition or property of being dimorphic or dimorphous, you're not helping it. Okay, Michigan house for sale. Features an unusual throne-like toilet. What is this poking up thing? Where does this go in what hole? I can't imagine. Oh, it was listed for 1.2 and then went down to 979. So this does puncture a hole. <laughs> Chihuahua rescued from icy Michigan pond. Kelly, I'd rescue you from a pond. Not if it were cold. <laughs> Let the stipulations be out there so you don't jump into ponds expecting me. A 12-year-old Chihuahua. I bet that Chihuahua is sexually dimorph... Diamorphic. How many years is that in dog years? 12 times 7? 84 years old, they're still, they're still dimorphic at 84, right? I, I hope to be dimorphic by then. The dog named Sasha wandered out onto thin ice. I have a question. How thin do ice need to be for a chihuahua to fall through? Why do I keep saying it like that? Just say the chihuahua walked into a pond and then come up with a funny punchline. Sasha was missing for several days and then you found her in a pond. That's incredible. Not incredible enough for me to stick around. Australian man goes for beer, finds carpet python under fridge. The heck is a carpet python? Kelly, if you see a bump in the carpet, bump it. What do you have to say? So we've just received what is without a doubt that's all it is. It's just, hey, I'm Australian. I want you to know about it. Okay, that's my best. I just received what is without a doubt the mo- it's, He has more to say every single- Say something else, you mystic, mystic man. Well, I guess he's done talking. Oh, Mullet Mick. Please tell me that is your legal first name. Screech Owl. Eggs. Rescued from nest atop utility pole. The heck is a screech owl? Oh, that's not how you spell okay. Ooh, two very different looking things. Still the group born out of the effort to believe they won the war. She spoke a whole sentence right there, correct? With words that I should understand? What did you say? Still the group born out of the effort to believe they won the war. Okay, still the group born out of the effort to believe they won the war. Does that mean Kelly? Granted and sent Carly the custom F-A-R-T-F- Oh, just say it. You don't have to spell it out. There's no reason you need to spell out the word, what if they're seeing impaired? They can hear the word fart. You just make noises. Just North Carolina woman uh, is allowed to keep her license plate. You can do it, whatever. You don't have to do a high pitch like that. After receiving a complaint, said it never should have been issued. From who? Who laughed in the complaint? Because there's no way. I was really hoping they would just take fart off the list. Notice how she didn't spell it. Notice how I'm grinning. That's how it's done. So we tracked her down and she's with us now from Asheville, North Carolina. Um, did you say Asheville? You're from Asheville, North Carolina? I feel like this whole news segment is just, you're just glossing over the fact that you could have put 19 different butt belch puns everywhere and you're, you're missing this opportunity. It's just now wisping away in the wind. <laughs> that was an eye to you to know that I'm talking about a fart. That all the people are coming together and I really love people, different people. The NC. So you can smell their farts. Kids are weird. You know, it had a short life, but it had a- Short life, but it was impactful. Powerful. Stinks. Excuse me. Maybe do a little. Do do a little. Get together with people and be outside and- Smell the fresh air. Below is a list of just a few more terms and phrases banned from the state issued license plates. Assassin. <laughs> Ass-assin is how I would have put it. Hey. I was just ass assing, okay? Which is another form of fart. That's the polite way. It's a little more vulgar, but it's a little more polite. Kelly, are you ass assing right now? <laughs> Bite me. That is not how you spell it. Crap, got it. If you're not gonna let fart, then you're not gonna let its older cousin who's a slightly more degenerate crap crunk. Why not? 2000's little Wayne is rolling over in his bed right now. Devil man. Who did this? Who asked? Who's, that's the Antichrist. We found it! Uh, drug man. Maybe he works at a pharmacy. Maybe he works on a pharmacy on a corner. Maybe he just works on the corner. Let him have it. Okay, he bull Facebook. Why not Facebook? I bet there was a lot of hate. Fart, there it is. You made like 12 on the list. Gangsta, at least it was a soft A. Godless. Uh. Devil man got denied and said, <laughs> hated Duke. Why, what is that? Or hated Ook. Some guy really hates ukuleles, or someone currently hates Duke University. I hate people. That's just an alternate of Facebook killer. Okay, I, 
I understand this one. Old fart, okay, Satan. Cool, I see where this is headed. Man walks 3,257 feet with a lawnmower on his chin? Yeah, but did he do it while walking? <laughs> Man walks with lawnmower on his chin for 3,000 feet while walking with lawnmower on his chin while walking. <laughs> Tell me when you do that, but stepping forward, okay? These basic world records aren't doing it for me. Newborn white rhino, we don't need to say that, named Queenie in honor of Queen Elizabeth, her 70th year on the British throne. Excuse me. <laughs> you should tell the queen about that house we saw earlier. You can spend another 70 years on yet another throne, okay? I don't know where the thing goes in. You'll have to figure that out by trial and error. We feel very lucky to have another baby female rhino. You're telling me the the rhino parents wrote this? Which is our fifth female baby in a row. Well, the math here just isn't adding up for me, Monty. But you are a rhino. So. Van escaping croc, mail order snowman, world's tallest teen. You had me at Florida. Unusual submarine shaped vehicle spotted on Florida road. Looks well, kind of like a spaceship, maybe even a submarine out. Did you just say that this vehicle currently driving on ground? It's like a spaceship. Okay. It's a water vehicle, like a space vehicle. It's on land. It's a vehicle. NBC Tins Gage Golding is get Was not expecting that voice or accent. NBC Tins Gage Golding. <laughs> it sounds like he's starting every word with the second letter instead of the first letter. Florida teacher has snowman mailed to class from Kentucky. Why? Because I want these children in Florida to see snow. I think it's a good sentiment. I think kids would understand what snow is if you show them a picture and then I don't shave some ice into their hand. Is this where the other half of the deer goes when people like mount the heads on a wall? A Texas man rescued a deer. Oh, okay. Carpool. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the chair? Yeah, it's not a tiger. Didn't quite make it over. Oh, now he has a broken neck. Push him from the other side, my guy. You've never had a baby? That sounded bad. I'm, <laughs> I don't push my baby like that. But if he's doing this, you push him where his feet go. I don't know. You just pick him up. Seven-year-old breaks. Yeah, but what the, what's his ethnicity and color? Gender, background, okay? Breaks world record for identifying DC comic characters. Yeah, but did he do it while identifying? <laughs> New England fishermen reel in 12,000 year old woolly mammoth tooth. Tooth? Looks like one to me. <laughs> oh, 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 pound it, Kelly. Sorry, I punched you in the breasticle. 11 inch long tooth. Wow, we. He's deciding to auction the tooth on eBay. Dang it! It's sold. I don't feel like this quote really matches the story. Now, I'm a fisherman, but anytime you see families and children struggling, in that type of situation, you really try to be thankful for what you have and do what you can to help. Yeah, but where'd you find the tooth? There's always silver linings when clouds come rolling in, and I hope that someday that old man can find us, Captain. <laughs> okay, good talking to you. All right, well, that is the news. If you needed more of it, tough, I'm done. Kelly, anything you'd like to portrait? Okay, love you. I just, I just want you to be filled in, okay? with the news. Love you, hope you have the best day ever. Mainly because I said so, mostly because you want to. This is most likely going on my shorts channel. Yeah, look down here, it's a shorts channel. Or you're on Facebook and you have no idea what I'm talking about. Subscribe! If you're not already, I just look down. Are you, are you following? Why not? You watched till this part, it means you liked it. Love you.